Hi everyone, we're going to look at how to use a table of data here and take this and make a line of best fit. The first way you, well, you could do this is you could actually graph the data, make your scatter plot, and then figure out by estimating where the line of best fit would go, kind of making the scatter plot that way and the line of best fit that way. But what we're going to use instead is an Inspire, a calculator here, and type this data into in order to do most of the work for us. So we're going to take this data, we're going to put it into a new document on my Inspire app over here. So from your Inspire, do a new page, make a new spreadsheet, and type data in that way. Now just to save some time, I've already got it typed in. When you do this, make sure you type above the data what each one represents, like labels. So my X is labeled as shoe, and my Y is labeled as height. That way you know which is which. When you go to do your linear regression, you can tell which one's which. So now from here, we're going to go to the menu. We're going to go to stats. We're going to go to stat calculations and linear regression MX plus B. Then we're going to pick those titles that we just picked for the X's and Y's. So the X's were shoe, the Y's were height, and then everything else is good to go. So we're going to hit OK, and then there's our linear regression done for us from the calculator. So I'm going to round these to the nearest um, thousands here, so three decimal places. So the slope would be 2.686, because that, that 5 would get bumped up by the other 6 next to it. So 2.8 or 2.686 would be the slope, so y equals 2.8686, nope, there it is, 686, knew it didn't sound right, 686x plus the y-intercept, which is 16.566. And that would be our equation the line of best fit. Now in terms of the slope and y-intercept, this would be the y-intercept, this would be the slope, and what they represent, well, the y-intercept is always 0b, so 0 something. So this would be when shoe size is 0, which may not make any sense, that's okay. The height is the y-intercept, so the height would be 16.566. For the slope, this is all about change. As the x thing, shoe size in this case, increases by 1. The y thing, the height, increases, because the slope is positive, by 2.686. And that's how we can kind of take our line of best fit equation and put it into context to figure out what the slope and y-intercept mean. 